It's so interesting because sometimes the language, you know, spiritual has such a theistic religious connotation and words like holy and sacred and even magic comes from a theistic root. Um, but it still is, I mean, maybe it's just the poverty of the English language, but it's still, those are still the words that I think best describe that feeling when, you know, a light opens up in your mind when you understand something new. And when you, 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 there's a new discovery or a new image from deep space. And all of a sudden you have chills all over your body and you glimpse that that way in which we are a part of this vast, enormous grandeur that we can barely, barely, barely begin to wrap our minds around. I think that is spiritual um, in the secular sense. And I think that my parents' awe and joy and wonder um, was the same, you know, in many ways, that same deep feeling that people often derive from religion, but they derived it from the scientific method and all the astonishing things that we have learned um, just from following the evidence wherever it leads.